Hello all dinosaurs and dinosaurians. Today I have a box of really really beautiful and interesting sea animals. So let's go. The first one right here is actually a starfish. I'm gonna put all the whales, all the sharks and all the different fish on the right hand side and um and all the other sea animals on the left. Okay, so let's go. Next up, we have the Rift Squid right over here. As you guys can see, the name is written right at the bottom of this um, figure. It looks really beautiful. It's a bit translucent as well. So this will definitely go on to the left-hand side. Alright, next up, we have a gigantic shark. And um, this will be placed on the right-hand side, you know, along with other fish, along with other whales and dolphins. So a great white shark or this could probably be like a megalodon as well. Okay, next up, koi fish right over here. Some of them can actually live up to like 100 or even 200 years old. It's pretty, pretty impressive. So all the fish will go on the right hand side. Next up, we have a blue crab right here. Looks really beautiful as well. Two huge pencils. This is going to be on the left. Uh, next up, lobster. Crustacean, okay, has two huge pencils or claws. Looks really nice. This would definitely go on the left. Next up, what is this? Wow, this looks like a beautiful whale or is this a beautiful dolphin? Do you guys know if this is a dolphin or whale? This is actually known as the pilot whale, okay? Interesting. Let's place this over here. And um, let's see. Hammerhead shark. A really interesting and um, beautiful shark. The head looks like a hammer. This will be placed on the right hand side. Next up, terrapin. This is actually a red ear slider. I have three of them and one of them um, seems to be sick. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Alright, um, what else we've got? A humpback whale. Okay, beautiful. I've actually seen a video recently that a humpback whale was actually like, you know, um, playing with some humans on a boat. Um, right over here, we have a popo, octopus. Let's count how many tentacles uh, it has, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tentacles. This will be placed on the left hand side. Next up, Blaine Views Big Whale. This is a Pretty interesting um, sea animal. I've never seen one of one of them. I've never even seen one of them in videos. I may go, you know, look look for it. Look up for this um, on YouTube. Okay. Okar, also known as the killer whale. Okay, it's a beautiful one. This figure is pretty cool. You can actually move the flippers. Um, and I think the scientific name is actually known as um, what is this? Arcsinus. Orcar, not too sure. If you guys know, do let me know down below. This is a very new figure that we have just purchased. It is a Say Will. Okay. What else we've got? A really beautiful um, blue spotted ray. So you can see the name is written right below. Yes, blue spotted ray. And there's plenty of blue spots. And uh, it has two stripes. Two blue stripes across the entire tail. That's very cool. Next up, I think another really interesting sea animal is this nail whale, which has a very long spear in front of this uh, mouth. Really, really interesting. I've never seen one before. I'll probably look it up, you know, on YouTube as well to find some videos about it. Um, humpback whale. Once again, let's read. Uh, let's see what facts does this little cut. Have hornbacks were once hunted extensively and they remain endangered. I think they are right now being protected, but they're still endangered. Another lobster right over here, and this is a new figure that we have just purchased. Let's see what is written over here. They must shed their shells in order to grow. Okay, that's that's interesting. They have poor eyesight but highly developed sense of taste and smell. That's interesting. This is a pygmy sperm whale. Okay, it's actually a pretty small whale. It's not you know as huge as a humpback or a sperm whale. It is more like the size of a dolphin. 
And speaking of dolphin, we have another dolphin right over here. And this is known as the Ganges River Dolphin. Sawfish, okay. They actually use this saw-like tool to catch its prey. Very interesting. And the bottom of the, the body, this portion seems like a um, stingray to me. Basking shark looks pretty terrifying, but it is actually a filter feeder. Okay. Seems like we have a lot of fish. And um, this one is a really interesting fish as well. It is the frog fish. Yep. And this color actually helps it to camouflage, you know, uh, underwater. I'm gonna place this on the right hand side as well. We have a blue sperm whale. It's a very beautiful one as well. And a majestic looking orca, also known as the killer whale. A figure from Schleck, but I'm not too sure whether this is an original figure from Schleck. I think so. It should be. This is also a figure that was just purchased very recently. And speaking of our new purchases, there will be a box of new sea animals arriving at my doorstep really soon. This is a sperm whale. This is a little dolphin. Hermit crab. Um, a little dolphin. Check this out. And right over here, we have a bow head whale. Nice. And this is a beautiful right whale. Beluga whale. Okay. And beluga whale can actually use echolocation to find its way in the underwater. So that's a very, very interesting um, sea animal. And this is of a Quita purpoise. Oh, sorry, Atlantic white sided dolphin. It looks like a Quita to me. Let's take a look at some facts. Most short thick dolphins are grey, black, and white, but this dolphin features a unique yellow patch, which is right over here. This should be a um, blue whale, if I'm not wrong. Yep, that's right. Very large whale. Oops, and um, this is the Vaquita that I was talking about. They are critically endangered. I think they are like less than 10 left in the world. And um, our last figure of the day is actually this um, whale shark. I've swam with whale sharks before. I think I've basically told you guys many times. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful docile sea animal which um, um, which is more or less like um, a filter feeder. So these are basically all the different sea animals that I've shown you guys today. I'm gonna put them back into the box. Now I want you guys to let me know which is your most favorite sea animal. For me, my most favorite sea animal has got to be um, the great white shark because I, I'm not too sure. Because when I was young, I was like watching a movie about great white sharks, although they are pretty terrifying, but that's always been one of my most favorite um, sea animals. What about you guys? Let's me know, okay? Um, so I think I like great whites. I also like dolphins. Um, yeah, so these two are probably my most favorite sea animals. And after that, I'm, I'm probably going to choose um, turtles. I, I love turtles a lot as well. What about you guys? Let me know down below, okay? Thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.